Before we set up SSH, let's make sure that the software is installed. So we're going to do apt list and then open SSH server. So we have open SSH installed. If you needed to install it, you can do apt install and then open SSH server, hit enter, and you'll be able to install the package. But since I already have it installed, it's not going to install anything. Next step is we'll move the default keys off and recreate some new keys. So we're going to make a directory under the Etsy SSH directory for the default keys. And now we have that directory to store the default keys in. We're going to move the current keys into that directory. And the keys will start with SSH underscore host. And then there'll be various keys. We're going to move those over into the directory that was just created. Now we're going to have the server create new keys. This is mainly a best practice since a lot of distributions will ship with keys that everybody already knows. So we're going to do a dpackage reconfigure for the open SSH server software. We can see that the new keys get created. And now we're going to enable the SSH service. You can turn it on for just this one session with system control and then start ssh.service. When you reboot the computer, it won't necessarily be started though. So if you want to make sure it starts every time the computer boots, we would use system control enable SSH service instead. And then you can check the status using system control status SSH service. And this will tell you whether or not the service is running and ready for you to connect. So now with SSH installed, you can connect to your server over port 22 using an SSH client.